In this video, we're going to be talking about the Sound Devices Mix Pre version 2. Now for 6 years, I've been using a Juice Link preamp, which works pretty well, but I think it's time for an upgrade. So if you don't know what the Sound Devices Mix Pre 2 is all about, what I'm going to do today is just give you 3 things that I like about this recorder slash preamp and three things that I don't like about it. So the first thing I like about this preamp is how quiet the freaking preamplifiers are. It's really nice and I am using it right now. I am in a pretty big living room and you can definitely tell that this preamp, this cashmere preamp is pretty amazing. Now coming from a juice link to this preamp, I can really tell the difference between the two. The noise floor of this preamp is absolutely amazing for the price point. Now the second thing I like about this preamp is how easy it is to use, even for a new user like me. The menu system is pretty straightforward, I didn't really have to look in the manual that much. It is touchscreen as well, so that's really nice. So as far as ease of use and the transition from a Juice Link to a Mix Pre 2, it was a pretty easy transition. And the last thing I like about this recorder is pretty much the reason why I got it and it's the 32-bit floating point recording. If you don't know what 32-bit floating point is, it's pretty much comparable to shooting raw with a camera. It's very hard to clip with a 32-bit floating point recording. It's absolutely amazing. Now, some of the examples you can use this 32-bit floating point is, for example, like a wedding, and you only have one mic. You're actually able to capture the priest and the bride or the groom with only one microphone, which is amazing. And I tested this out with my 360 video. Uh, and I'm gonna show you that here in a second where I only had one microphone, but I was able to capture three different audio from three different people in different distances with just one mic. That is truly amazing. Now to show this 32-bit floating point, I'm gonna go to audition to show you what really it's all about. It's just hard to talk about it. What I'm gonna show you now is the thing that I was talking about, about testing the preamp and the sound device mix pre 2 in a 360 scenario. So in our case here, we have the bad guy, two bad guys, and we have the hostage here on the back. The camera is right here, just straight down. And the microphone was installed on the first bad guy we see, which is this guy right here. Now, like I said previously, I only had one mic and through that, I have the Sound Devices Mix Pre in 32-bit floating point. So he has the microphone in his collar right here. Right here is the other bad guy, which he doesn't have a mic. And about 67 feet away, you have the hostage. So that is the video. And now what we're gonna do is dive in the audio of this 32-bit float. And I'm gonna show you why this freaking recorder is simply Awesome. So let's go ahead and jump in audition. Now let's go ahead and just play back what this thing actually captured that day. Hey, this can either go two ways. You either tell me what I want to know, or you go swim with our fishes. Okay, so that was the main guy, which was clear. You can hear that, and I'm going to zoom in so you can see it better. So this is the main guy, hey. and this is the hostage. Fishes. All right, so this tiny little audio here was the response to the bad guy. Now, like I said in that video, I was just testing out new toys. I was testing out two things, the Sound Device Mix Pre 2 and the Insta361X Insta that I got. So let's go ahead and see what this 32-bit float is all about. So let's go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select his dialogue. And I'm just going to do, I'm just going to normalize it. Okay, let's just call it that. And there you go. Instantly, I made his voice louder. And let's go ahead and listen to it. Hey, this can either go two ways. You either tell me what I want to know, or you go swim with our fishes. So right off the bat, obviously, you'll see that it's clipping. So look at this thing. Just being able to move this around level-wise it's just sick. Now, if you want to know how this is done or how this works scientifically, check out the link in the comments below and I'm going to send it to you. Sound Devices pretty much explains how they do this thing. Now, this is not new technology. Apparently, it's been around for 10 years or so, but it's just now starting to make it to uh, consumer products like the Zoom 
F6, Hastis, and now the sound devices Mix Pre 2. So you can see that you can pretty much have nothing and have something from that. And that's very important because if you have something clip, you can go ahead and scale it down. And I am going to have that example here in just a second. But what we're going to do now is take a look at the hostages respond. You listen how low that is, but with 32 bit floating point, watch what happens. I'm going to select where I think her dialogue is. I'm going to go ahead and do the same exact thing by just normalizing that. And there you go. Now, obviously, it's going to have a lot of noise because it was like six feet away from the lavalier microphone. So even though you have 32-bit float recording, you still want to practice good recording audio techniques. In my case, it wasn't a brilliant idea to have her that far away and have one mic recording her. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and turn it down because I can already say I can already tell that that's going to be loud. So let's go ahead and scale it down a little bit and play it through. Or you go swim with our fishes. All right, so that's after, and look at the before. That's insane. Now, I was able to clean this up in post. I just did a little bit of uh, noise reduction, so the outcome audio, the final audio, was decent compared to this noisy one. So let's go ahead and normalize it once again. Fishes. Look at that. <laughs> that, that's, that. That's so impressive. And additionally to this, uh, like I said, the other bad guy actually responded. So let's go ahead and see if we can get that. Too bad, I, don't see I think it's right here. It, you can't even see his response. But it's there. So let's go ahead and select that. And let's go ahead and normalize it and see what we can get. And this is the other bad guy's response. Where he says, I think she said, I think she said she likes you. So here we go. I think she said she likes you. Now, again, it has a lot of noise because he was pretty far from the microphone. But guys, this is extreme scenario. I don't recommend you doing this, but I wanted to see what I can get out of this amazing uh, pre-amplifier and recorder. So let's go ahead and see right here. I think she said she likes you. Now, obviously, it's going to have a lot of noise but that's just because he was really far away from the source as well. All right, so let's talk about the things I don't like about this recorder. Now, the Sound Devices Mix Pre is priced at around $600, and I'm pretty sure this is why these three things that I don't like exist because of the price point. Now, the first thing I don't like about it is the battery life. This thing eats batteries for breakfast. I kid you not. I put some brand new batteries on this, and it wasn't rechargeable. It was just a regular Amazon cheapo one, and it lasted me like three minutes with phantom power. Absolutely eat batteries. But you can combat this problem by getting an adapter for the actual sound devices Mix Pre 2. It's around $60, which I think is absolutely worth it. The one I got is a Sony MPF battery. So you can put up to two Sony batteries into this LED adapter and put it in the sound devices Mix Pre, which will increase your battery life dramatically. So the second thing I don't like about the sound devices Mix Pre is the location of the on and off button. If you have a USB-C plugged into the device, it is really annoying to power the device on and off because the cable is blocking it. I think they should have moved the on and off button somewhere else, but that's the second thing I don't like about this device. Now, the last thing I don't like about this device is the battery compartment. Removing it and putting it back on is pretty scary. It's really cheap plastic, so I am very scared when trying to remove the batteries on and off of this thing. So that is another reason why I got the sled for this thing so that I don't have to keep removing and installing the battery compartment on this device. All right, guys. So that is all I got for you guys today. I got to say, if you're a one man band like I am, YouTuber, and you don't have time to mess around with levels and you're the video, you're the audio, you're the grip and you're the cinematographer and you're pretty much everything. The sound devices Mix Pre 2 is definitely something to look at because this tool right here 
is just amazing. And it's pretty exciting because it's pretty new. It's only 10 years old, the technology. I just can't wait for, for like the future uh, iterations of this. So if I had to recommend one piece of audio gear, definitely take a look at the Audio Devices Mix Pre 2. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know and I will see you guys later.